everyone, I'm Denise Love, and today is an art haul day, and I have some fun goodies that we're gonna check out. So let's get started. This time I'm back with a super fun unboxing of a sketch box that the sketch box people have very generously sent me for free. So they did give this to me. And you know how much I love Sketchbox if you've seen all my unboxing videos and my little art showdown subscription box videos. This is my favorite company. It's the one I've had the longest for uh, getting a, a subscription box. And the holiday boxes are a particular favorite because the one before this is the one that introduced me to my uh, gold mica paste by Kiritaki that I absolutely love so much so <laughs> these are like endeared me to some of my very favorite supplies that you see me uh, pull out sometimes so I'm very excited to be able to open this holiday box I did not get this one so now I have one I didn't have not opened how fun is that and they have these until they sell out so they come out usually in the fall and then they have those until they are completely sold out and these have about $118 of value in it and I think at the time that I looked at the price on this it was $85 for this box so let's open it and see what we got oh, super fun I didn't even know the sketch box people knew that my YouTube channel existed and they reached out and I was like so giddy because I'm like ooh, fun art supplies <laughs> Okay, oh, check out the sticker. Oh, they're so creative with their yummy stickers that they bring out. Love that. Put that over here. And let's see. Man, look at all the stuff. Ha, ha, ha. I love that they give us a card that tells us what these things are because I keep these. And, oh, we got some good stuff. So I've got some, a basic watercolor set of brushes. Fantastic. I like some of these thinner ones for doing lines and dots, so super cool. Also got some Artist Blender crayons. That's super fun. <gasps> I love these. I actually have some of these brush lettering brushes and I use them on black paper and they are fantastic. Um, this is the Stedler 5 Metallic Brush Collection, so definitely going to get a lot of use out of that one. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I love these. These are the Hero Arts Glimmer Ink. And I have the gold. So now I have the silver. So you see I love that. Awesome. I like that. So these are good for mark making and drawing. They shimmer really pretty. The pewter is nice. I consider white, black, silver, and gold my neutrals in when I'm doing color palette stuff. So perfect and I like the hero arts this was a nice those are nice and then I've got some whole bind gouache oh sepia perfect color and a gray at number one and ash green oh yeah I'm feeling some goodness coming out of this box today because those are some good colors those are right up my alley looking forward to that Strathmore watercolor cards. So I actually have some Strathmore watercolor cards because it's fun to make cards um, to send people. So I already know that I'm gonna love using these. And these are made with cold press, acid-free watercolor paper, and works well with any wet medium. Use them to send to friends and families as a gift to art. And so, fantastic. <gasps> Look! Oh, I love that Hannah Moule, um sketchbook paper um, pads. This is 190 GSM. I don't think this one's cotton, but we can take a look. A great travel companion. This sketchbook offers smooth premium paper. So this is a sketchbook and not a watercolor book. So that's super cool because I have several of the Hannah Moule, um watercolor books. And the sketchbook would be a nice uh, variation on paper. So awesome look it just keeps going <gasps> oh look at that black liner can never have enough black liners this is the 05.1.2 and 0 .3 uh, 0.05 is one that I definitely use a lot of so can never have enough black pens and we have a Tombow in red Tombow marker what do we got here Derwimp Chroma Flow Oh, super cool. We've got red and white. Okay, I'm definitely feeling... All right, so check out that. That was a fantastic box. 
of yummy stuff. I like that we got two big surfaces to play on. Black pens, some yummy metallics, watercolor brushes. I haven't ever used Artist Blender crayons. And they are usually with pencils, I think. Transparent, non-water soluble. These are great for watercolor and blending techniques. I'm going to have to research on these and see how you really use them. Rub over stencils and other surfaces to create highlights and textures. Crayons are transparent. Transparent, non-water soluble. Great for mixed media, watercolor, and creative blending techniques. I'm going to have to like research that because that's super fun. And I definitely love my whole bind gouache. I have a whole little collection started of those. So yum, yum. Great fun. Let me pull some stuff out here and we are going to make something with our goodies today. All right, let's make something. So this sketchbook, I unwrapped it and I was kind of looking at it. This has got satin pages. Like it's really, really smooth, almost like a hot press paper feels like with watercolor. Um, so I really like the way this paper feels in this sketchbook. But what I've done today is put out our watercolor cards. And I thought I would make a few cards because this feels really good. And I've just taped them down like I do um, when I tape regular paper. Just taped those down. And just got a smudge from something that was on my fingers. And a little hack if you get a smudge on your paper before you get started. These little artist erasers are fantastic for getting anything like a little smudge away. Um, so if you don't have the little needed erasers, everybody needs this thing. Just kind of lives on my shelf up here. And I thought what we would do, I'm in the abstract mood, let's put some of this gouache out here on the side. And I like gouache because it's more pigmented than watercolor and it is um, kind of matte and these colors are just yum yum. I have quite a little collection of the Holbein gouache now. Um, so I'm pretty excited at the color range. This is so pretty. But I thought what we could do is like a little abstract and I'm going to use one of these silver white. This is the 1500S round to do my little blobs of color that I like so much and we'll see how this works. And then I'm thinking we can mark make on top of that with some of the yummy metallics that we got. So let's just jump right in. And we could mix if I need a third color, like a fourth color, I could mix the gouache um, with the gray and we could come up with another color. But I'm kind of thinking um, yummy abstracts like I like to make. Ooh, I like this brush. And this is a real smooth texture. I know it's cold pressed paper, but it's not nearly as textured as some of the cold presses that I'd use. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, look at this. I do like these cards, though. I've actually used these Strathmores for um, quite a while. And it's good paper. All right, let's just see. Let's put this gray in here before I get into that sepia. So even though I like using um, the really, the yummy um, quill brushes like this, um, a lot of times um, this is actually doing super good with this particular technique. I like this feel of this brush and getting my color squatches in here. So that's super fun. And gouache, the more water you add, the more watercolor it becomes. And the less water you add, the thicker it is. So I like that about it too. Maybe with this green, I want to come back in with maybe a heavier layer of the green. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Something real thick. So it's really nice to have some differences here in the opacity. Oh, look at that. I mean, that just totally brought that out for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's, let's go ahead and dive into the sepia and see. And I'm kind of using these as, you know, straight on color, but we could mix them together to get something else 
to get some more variations if I needed to. Oh, I do like really thick. Super fun. I'm not thinking super hard about composition at the moment. I'm thinking more of let's get our colors laid in and just see what we can end up with. And then I add more layers on top with mark making. It tends to be the way I like to create. But look at that. Look at that. <laughs> let's come back with a little gray. And, you know, we could mix the gray and the green and see what does that give us. Kind of in between. Like another shade. Oh, look at that. That's what it needed. I like doing the limited color palette stuff because, man, you really push yourself outside your comfort zone when you don't have all the choices. And you actually create things that you never would have created otherwise. And I love that about doing stuff like this. Just looking at this glimmer ink let's see so the glimmer ink is a bit of glimmer to your projects with this fast drying specialty ink I was looking to see if it was water cleanup shake well you straight from the bottle thin with water water see that's what I wanted all right so I'm gonna let this dry for a moment and we're gonna come mark make on top of this all right we've let this dry for a few minutes and it's mostly dry there's maybe one dark spot still uh, drying here and I thought maybe we could pull out some of these pins and do some mark making so this is that set of uh, metallics and a white I'm glad there's a white in here cuz can't ever have enough white pins <laughs> and then the black ones in here so I was looking at the different sizes here and these are all super duper fine with the 05 03 they're all super fine I think I'm gonna do the point oh three um, to do some little mark making things that I just love lately so maybe we'll come Ooh, that's a nice pin <laughs> All right, that totally made my day. Super nice pin. Maybe we can do a little bit of like a ribbon on this side. Maybe some little finish off pearls at the end. And I think I'm going to do pretty little pearls on this. These lines. They're so delicate and pretty. I also like to do little leaves down the lines like it's a big vine. But I like these little pearls. It's almost like little bracelet strings or little necklace strings it's so pretty and delicate that it just fits right into some of the stuff that I love and we could do some little different marks I could do little birds or little V's that look like little birds I've kind of rediscovered that mark lately and really loved it super fun so on some of these little abstracts you're going to need to add more layers because if you get started and you think mm, I don't know if I love that you might not have enough layers and so I want you to start thinking about putting some marks and colors and lines on top of those oh my gosh this is like the perfect colors with that pretty green and that sepia oh, oh I love it let's do this right up here Got a little black line right here. I don't know what it is. Let's just see. Might be paint. Probably is paint. Oop, I've hit wet paint there. All right, let's pull out a different pin and see what else can we put in here. So I've got this little white brush pin, and sometimes I like dots, and so this is a good pin for dots lines marks dashes kind of get that in there I like doing it sometimes in a color that you can't really tell that it's there until you get really close and then you're like "Ooh, look at this detail that was kind of surprising me in here oh yeah that's definitely wet had a wet spot look how pretty that is <laughs> I almost feel like needs a little black 
Well, no, I actually like that. Let's let's go on over here to the next one and just see what else we can make. Pretty little trio of stuff. And I have a fun mark making sheet that I get inspired by sometimes that I have hanging up on the wall above me. And sometimes I like to refer to that if I get stuck for marks and things that I could make. So you might make yourself an idea, an idea guide for marks and things if you're thinking, I don't know what kind of marks would be good. So on this one, let's do some different, let's see, maybe I'm gonna do, I kinda wanna do something that's like a circle but kinda stops. So what if I take a piece of paper and like, I don't know, try to do something like this where I can kind of make it end where I want it to end possibly. Oh yeah, and we'll kind of stop it like right there. Can have like little, almost like a rainbow. That's kind of fun. Just experimenting here. These are the perfect kind of projects to start experimenting and doing some stuff that maybe you don't normally do and you're like, what would happen if I did this? And because I did like a set of three, then I can always say, okay, here's what I liked and here's what I didn't like and here's what I can try next time. Because I loved it or here's what I wouldn't do again. I like using these as times to experiment. When you do three or four, you know you're going to get at least one that you love, maybe one that you're like, ooh, don't do that again, and maybe one that's kind of in the middle, but you always learn something new. It's my favorite way to create. Ooh, look how pretty that is. So then, let's see, let's come back in here with real fine dots. How about that? Ooh, I like that. I love these Stedler brush pens. This is a definite, definite win. And now I'm kind of thinking, what about if we get into our silver ink here? Let's just see. And I got a little scrap piece of paper over here that we can do a little, take a look at what we can get. So I can either do, I can draw lines, I can do little dots. I like this little stopper. I could do like scribbles like this. I like that. Um, I could also put some out on a little palette and I could use those as with a paintbrush. What do we want to do here? And I could put some out on here and take a palette knife and spread it some. That might be fun. Ooh, that might be fun now that I thought about it. <laughs> Got a little palette knives over here. Kind of like what I would do with the gold. Make sure that shook up real good. Um, kind of like what I would do with the gold, with the mica ink. I could do with the silver. So I think I could just come right out here with some silver ink. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> Oh yeah, that totally, that right there. You know, the silver is a little bit different consistency than gold, um, it feels like. But if I do that like in the light, we can watch that little bit of shimmer. <laughs> totally, totally made it good. Okay, let's do that over here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, 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 droop. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Okay, now I'm 
super digging it. All right, let's just go right up here. Oh. Oh, oh, look how pretty that is. <laughs> okay. I like my gold and silver inks. Nice. So I think for this, I might actually call this done. I've got some yummy red over here. Do you think it needs like a little pop of red in there? Like, let's see what this red does. It's like an orange red. I'm feeling like we don't need the red in this particular piece. I might do another piece with something like that in it. Let's peel the tape on this. And then maybe look at that sketchbook for a second. <gasps> look at how pretty these are. Oh my gosh. These would be great for birthdays. One of, a, one of a kind pieces of art that you've sent to somebody. Oh yeah. Can sign it like right over here in like the corner. They're ready to frame. And this is a really nice way to send some art and they, they want to frame it. And look at how nice the paper is on um, these Strathmore cards. It's not sticking to my tape at all. That's always a bonus. So it's not tearing my paper. I'm not worried about it tearing the edge of the design because it's not sticking to that paper, that, that painter's tape at all. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, look how pretty that is. Now we got to get that silver to dry, but look at that. I like how the sparkle adds to it. Look at this one. After I put that half circle on there, I wasn't sure I was going to like it, but now I do. <laughs> look how shiny this one super pretty oh yeah okay so these were super fun i'm loving these let me pull out that sketchbook for a moment all right i know this is a sketchbook we're going to test out we're going to test out some little bit of oh my gosh i wish you could feel how smooth this paper is as i'm drawing on it this is insanely feels so good like seriously that's a good, that felt good. I'm going to put some, uh, I'm gonna come over here with my little paintbrush. We're going to reactivate a little bit of this gouache. I know it's not a watercolor book, but I do like to play um, a little bit with my water mediums. And then as it dries and I shut that cover, if it warps any, it'll flatten back out. It's not a big deal. I just thought, let's just give it a little play. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that paper is smooth. Oh yeah, I like that. Let's let this dry. All right, this is dried. You know, I was using this Chroma pencil and I have some Chroma Flow pencils by Derwent and I have never gotten them out and played with them and I don't know why I haven't, um, but they're made, this says specifically, use these over other supplies and add details to your art. And I'm kind of glad I saw that because now I'm going to have to get out that little pack that I have and see, you know, exactly what I've been missing out on. Oh, look at that. Because they do have a nice amount of stick to the supply, which kind of reminds me of the Neo Color 2 crayons. I don't know why, if I just have so many different supplies to pick from, if I've just never pulled these out. But now I'm kind of glad that I had this excuse to play with a couple because that white went over there um, really nicely. Like, I'm surprised <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> And then there's, let's just see, oh, look at that, like totally, totally get good marks if we go over it like that. Okay, might be the next thing I'm obsessed with in my art stuff and you're going to all of a sudden see me using these pencils on everything. <laughs> That's super fun. Let's see, let's just pull out the different, now I'm just playing and seeing how our different colors are kind of performing. So this is gold. 
and it'd be really nice to see how much of that shine comes through versus some of the other golds that I've got that I use. Super fun. Let's try this blue. Oh, look at that blue. This is a metallic blue. <laughs> Woo, that was like a little fun electric blue. Okay, I love that. Let's do a little mark here with the, oh yeah. Oh yes, I like that too. Let's see what the silver looks like now that we're just going crazy here. Oh yeah, I like that. Let's just do a little swatch sampler. Oh, look at that blue. That blue is like electric blue. <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty. And we got blue. Here's the gold. Not really going to see the white if I do the white out there. But we would see the white out here on the paint and stuff that I paint. Oh yeah. That's super fun. We've got this white pencil. Oh yeah, red pencil. And then we've got the fun ink pens. Really fine. And we've got this alcohol, Tombow. Is it alcohol? Alcohol based. Oh, see now that's a completely different look. That, you see how that kind of soaks down into the paper where these kind of sat on top of the paper? Completely different look there on our inks. So that was a super fun thing. All right, so I just wanted to give these a little play, a little tiny bit of some color swatching there. I hope you enjoyed checking out the yummy holiday box at Sketchbox. Look, these are dry now, or they're getting dry, but look how pretty that shimmer is on that silver. Um, this box is still available till it sells out um, and has a ton of stuff in it that is fantastic. I liked the brushes, um, and as far as doing our abstracts the larger brush the silver white number eight was fantastic and if you like fine lines and details or some straights i like that they gave us a straight brush in here also and then i already love these metallic stedler metallic brush pins so i know you're going to love those and the glimmer ink um, I like these Hero Art Glimmer inks. I've gotten the gold in the past, and they're super fun to play in. So I hope you enjoyed this little demo. Can't wait to see what you're creating and if you loved this box. And I'll see you next time.